Managing diabetes can be tough, especially if you're a young student athlete. But tonight we're learning that sports may be just the right medicine for some of those kids. That's right. Channel 7 photojournalist Chris Jones has the story. One time I was going down the boards and this one big kid just checked me. Overcoming obstacles and persevering through adversity is what sports is supposed to teach kids. And your mind basically like blanks out and you're just thinking about passing the person in front of you. Marcus Alcala is a freshman cross country runner for Rochester Adams High. When he was nine, he was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes. I usually don't think about it unless my blood sugar starts to feel low or high. If it was high, like my spit, I would like start getting like white, you know, and I would need, need like something to drink so it would make it like, harder to run. When I was low, I'd just feel weak so like I couldn't run faster. Mackenzie Stunkel plays tennis for Brighton High School. Competitive tennis not only helps her manage her type 1 diabetes, it lifts her spirits as well. A lot of the time I don't really feel well as a diabetic and playing sports, like, it not only, like, makes me feel better but also, like, lifts my spirits and stuff on days I don't really feel too confident with my diabetes. 11-year-old Shane Cunningham has been playing hockey as long as he has had diabetes. I had this little bag in my hockey bag. I get it out, I check myself, and we always carry um, juice boxes in there. If I'm low, I drink one, I wait a little bit, and I go back on the ice. People with type 1 diabetes must carefully monitor their blood sugar levels and take daily insulin injections. He tests his blood sugar before he leaves, so we're fairly confident of, of what the beginning of the race will bring. Certainly his adrenaline and then the exercise, the two things kind of play against each other, so we're not sure what the blood sugar is going to be at the end on a given day. There's a little bit of a guessing game and a little bit of uh, really having to watch it for a while after that type of exercise to make sure you don't overcompensate and then cause a different problem. If you give insulin when the blood sugar is high because of this adrenaline effect, they're, it's going to come down anyway. You give them more insulin, it's going to come down really hard. One time we were running, I think, like six miles, and we were like three miles away from the school. My blood sugar was low, and I already ate my snack that I had, so I didn't really know what to do. So Jake helped me like find another group of guys, and we saw someone in a car we knew, so she drove me back to the school. I just really want people to know that if you are a diabetic, that it shouldn't hold you back, and you shouldn't let it get in the way of your dreams or your hopes for your future right now. Any sport that you can name, we have patients in our clinic who are varsity and maybe even all-state athletes at those levels. Chris Jones, Channel 7 Action News.